doing nothing. We are in the end of our meditation session. Bring your mind to the right hand, your mind to the left hand. Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside. Know your experiences, bring the hands down. We'll share our experiences. And once you have question, you see that it's always good, Sophie. When you ask the question, it helps me to redirect the practice of meditation accordingly. So one should be open. Very good. Thank you. And bring the hands down. How are you, Sophie? I am very good, Irish. <laughs> yeah. Good, happy. Thank you. Good. Thank you all. So, how are you, John? I don't hear you. I could see your big speaker there, but uh, you might be hearing me, but I don't hear you, so... Hello? I don't hear you yet. Just check it. How are you, Anne? I feel fine. I feel peaceful. Yeah. Quiet. Quiet, peaceful and quiet. That's really wonderful. 24 by 7. How are you, me? In the meantime, John will fix his audio. You have to un yes. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, I feel very peaceful and that is why I come. Beautiful. We have to continue the practice until that peace and happiness remains with you all the time. How are you, Michelle? Um, peaceful. I went in having, you know, a migraine, and it actually helped relieve most of it. Good. That's really good. See that? If you do the practice regularly, whenever it comes and you do the practice, but caveat. What is caveat? That you should have a state of dispassion in doing the practice. If the state of dispassion is not there in the mind, the mind will continue to trigger you. Nothing will happen. Here is a migraine. How can the pain can get away? So those opposing thoughts will cause the problem. That is why we say practice in meditation means abhyas veragya abhyam tannirodha. Two things, practice, steadiness, and this passion should be there supporting the steadiness of the mind. How are you, John? I see your moving lips, but I don't hear your voice. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Sometime it is good. Only sometime it is good. So, any question? Yes, yes, yes Sophie. <laughs> <I love>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Go ahead. So, yes, yesterday I meditated. Yeah. I have pain in my arm. You have? I meditated. It was gone. Is that possible? Hundred percent possible. <laughs> Not one, but a hundred percent possible. Huh? <laughs> the, these challenges are actually coming from the mind. The subconscious 
or uh, in in for the sake of understanding coming from subconscious layer of the mind and once you do this this will go completely i don't talk about it and perhaps and knows and perhaps michelle also knows if i there is who is that terry from brooklyn and terry she is suffering from parkinson and you know in a terrible stage of parkinson she is she is joining three sessions a week mondays thursdays and saturdays during the last one month almost 12 sessions only two session her body was trembling in all the other session her body was totally steady and calm and everyone is surprised why i said so i said so because the eastern wisdom and these practices works differently if you start asking me what is the process explain me scientifically if you ask the smartphone please explain me what is consciousness is it possible science works in the field of matter material phenomena we work in the field of consciousness we move consciousness from the consciousness to matter science moves from matter to consciousness it is still not clear about what exactly is consciousness there are three groups of the scientists and they have their own uh, philosophy they are, they are in dilemma they are in confusion so that is why i say why i said say, i say this because happiness and freedom and happiness yeah so i say this because when someone ask me can you treat a particular illness i said no and yes so if you want me an explanation from the modern science physiological biochemical changes i can guide you but i am not so sure that how this meditation but if you ask me from the eastern wisdom i'll explain you this is going to happen so what i said terry that please can you continue the journey and understand the two principles the steadiness of the body comes from the mind not from the enforced discipline from the mind what you should do so i told her that just move the mind inside let the body continue to move because you have that problem and one the day when she is able to move her mind inside her body remains still throughout the practice so the journey the mechanism so called the mechanism is different in science and eastern wisdom so we can say the magic happens when you continue the journey <laughs> so <laughs> that so that is what i say to even michel just continue the journey and see if you are committed you are regular you we meet one hour in seven seven days but if you are regular on your own you continue forget about your uh, what you said migraine just continue no, i have to do it i know i have a migraine i cannot do it do it mind says i cannot do it do it 
and then see the result. Any more questions? Uh, anything more?